This is A1 Talk, a place where we can talk about anything and no topic is off the table. I'm Antoine, and along with me is my big cousin, Yahaved. We've been A1 since day one, and we want to share our perspective with you. Let's get started and dive into today's episode. Welcome to A1 Talk. Welcome, welcome to A1 Talk. This is your boy Antoine, part of the two-part A1 Talk, and I'm here with a guest, my boy, Jerry with yo, a yo. G. Yo, yo. What's up, my boy? Jerry with a G. Yeah, What's man. up, dog? How are you? Hey, man, I'm good. How about you? I'm chilling, man. Living the life, you know? Yeah. Taking care of kids all fucking day. It's fun. Oh, oh my goodness. Shame <laughs> on you. Why are you being a dad like that? What man? My kids are awesome, but they suck. Like all kids. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> hey, so this is a uh, episode of the A One Talk Show, and this is how we going with it. We doing our interviews and everything, and I got my special guest here. You can find this dude on YouTube doing a Jerry with a G cooks. Right? Is that how you said? Yeah, yeah, Jerry with a G, but spell it ghetto. So Jerry. It's obviously spelt with a G, G E R R Y, with a W I T T A A G. Jerry with a G. Keep it gangster. All the way gangster. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, this is one of my best friends right here. We talk like damn near every day. And hey, 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 hey. hey and hey, we, hey. so we're talking about relationship preferences. Like, yeah. What do you like? What is a thing? What is a turn off to you? Big girls. Yeah. Big girls. Big girls. Big girls. No, I don't. Uh, what? No. No, that's. I've had some big ones. Man, I've, I've had. Okay. You want to hear a story? So. This the, this is the I'm like 15, 16 years old. And this guy, he had to be everything of 110 pounds. He loved obese women. Not fat. Not pleasantly plump. Not big bone. Obese. He told me that that's the best. So. I found the prettiest one that I could find, and I did it. I'm not proud of that. I'm a little ashamed, but you know, she showered, so she smelled good. But it was no different than anything else, other than walking around with that girl on my arm and other people going, "Ugh, who is that? Why is he with her? Why is she with him?" And blah blah blah. You know, just judgmental people. Other than that, it it's pussy, pussy, dog. And I really do have this. Uh... This this web that I think like, why do people even care? Like, it's my my preference. I can like what I want. Okay, so like. people care your preference because it doesn't match their preference, and everybody is in their own world. If you don't do what I like, then you're wrong. Simple. Absolutely. People are selfish, man. They they definitely are. I I mean, I have a a preference. I mean, everybody can have a preference but if you have like a build a bear type build a woman build a man build your perfect <laughs> partner type thing then obviously you're gonna uh make the person that suits you the best but then they're gonna still get on your damn nerves yeah but then you have a lot of people building a preference with a list of 38 things exactly you need you need to limit that shit to like five is five the number Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yo. <laughs> I mean, my okay, so my preference. Female. Okay, you go. Uh booty. <laughs> <laughs> now, first of all, I want everybody to know I do have a I do have a whole woman. I did say say booty, but my, my woman is lovely. <sighs> She's very lovely. She's she's beautiful. <laughs> and and so is my boy Jerry's woman. She's very beautiful. And the thing about it is, we don't have to sometimes people look at it, okay, I can see that this this woman, I can see them on TV and everything like that and they can look a certain way, but we also have the the people that come into our lives that okay, that is the actual person that I do want. I see stuff on the internet. I see stuff on TV and that stuff is very appealing to me, but yeah, there's a lot of, uh, 
Well, her girlfriend say, you guys are couple goals, whatever the fuck that means. So I don't know if they're talking about just the way we look, act with each other, whatever. But as far as us in a relationship, she's everything I ever wanted because she's just a nice fucking person. I, man, growing up in the hood, all you find is hood chicks. Absolutely. They're everywhere. I don't give a fuck what they look like. They look like fucking Holly Berry when she was 20. Or if they look like Amber Rose when she's 80. Ugh, she's going to be terrible, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, you can find them <laughs> bitches anywhere. But, like, personality, man, that's a big thing for me. So I used to like the hood chicks. But now, well, not now. When I met her, I was in the process of I need me somebody that's just quiet, nice. I want to come home to a peaceful house. So that's my main preference, all joking aside. I, I want to have a woman that is just nice to me. When I come home, hey, baby, how you doing? Fine. How was your day? Like, I don't really need a bigger conversation than that. You know what I mean, and that, that, that definitely makes sense. I mean, why would you not want to come home to a woman who, why would you want to come home to that woman who just ah, 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 all that stuff? You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you know, some people like that shit, though. I mean, I think they, I don't think they actually technically like it. I think they, 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 Oh they're, no, son! I know some it. niggas. No, no, I know some niggas that's like, yo, the the great, the crazier, the better. Like, nigga, what? Yeah, I had this bitch hold a knife to my neck. I, I love that bitch. Like, whoa, calm down, yo. You gonna be dead in a week? Absolutely. <laughs> my old lady loves to watch those damn murder shows too, where it all started off good a week ago. <laughs> About a week ago, what happened to Antoine? <laughs> What happened to Antoine? Right, we can't right. find him. I don't know. I wasn't watching CSI though. I tell you that. But we, but we definitely <laughs> do know that we want some. We want that calm when we actually, yeah, come home or just to 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 be able to hang with to 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 sit on the couch, lay there. And you know what? Just, now, so now we have we got two kids, right? One is seven, and one is a brand new baby. He's just over a year. He just got they, him. He just got him. When I come from home, Walmart. he just got him from Walmart. <laughs> Yeah, I just picked them up off of Maytag. <laughs> is that a place? No, that's not it. What is that shit called? I, Mattel. Is that the toys? They, Maytag sells like washes and dryers and refrigerators. And apparently babies. Oh, no. Apparently yeah. babies you can't, now. You can't, put, you can't put babies in washes <laughs> and dryers. You go to jail for stuff like but that. But you can buy them from uh, them. <laughs> yeah. Nah, so if you get my kids, when I come home, if you get a small greeting or something like that from your woman. That's what you want. But when I see my kids, I don't want a small greeting. I want to, I can't believe you've been gone this long and I've only been gone three hours or something. You know what I'm saying? So I told my daughter that when she was about five years old. So for the last two years, every time I come home, she's screaming my name, poppy, poppy, running into me, hugging me, trying to give me kisses, trying to tell me about a day. And I love that from my daughter. Right. But if my woman was doing that, it'd be fucking annoying. Just because she's an adult. Why are you acting like a child? Stop it. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. And I I love the way that, you know, me and my woman, we have our... I, here's the thing. I hate the whole relationship <laughs> goals thing. That The relationship goals yeah. thing. So, like, yeah. the way me and my woman are, that's us. That's literally just us. That might not... That doesn't even probably work with you and your woman. You know, it's just the way that we are with each other and the way that you are with your woman is a whole different thing. And people, the the social media aspect of it shows that, oh, we have to have this template to have, this is what you're supposed to be like with your woman. This is what you're supposed to be like with your man. No, that shit doesn't exist. Yeah, exactly. It makes you happy. You had, it makes you happy though. You you had uh, it's, uh, social media for a long time, though, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I just got on social media. So I had a Facebook back in the day. I deleted it. I had an Instagram, so I deleted it. And I didn't have it for probably 10 years. And then when I met my old lady, I just didn't want it. Because why do I need it? I got my woman. I'm not looking for women. I don't care what other people are doing. All the people I knew was in my immediate circle. So I don't right. need to see a picture of what we did last night. You know what I mean? I remember I was there. So. When it came to social media, hooking up this uh, this Jerry with a G Cooks channel, I got an Instagram, a YouTube, and a TikTok. I got on there to post my shit, but then I caught myself going down a wormhole one night when I was on the toilet, 
And on its nigga, own. a lot of that shit is fucking. <laughs> I mean, where else do you do it? So a lot of that shit is negative, bro. And I that's I remember why I got off of social media. And then with all this relationship shit, everybody is giving advice. And when all the people that are giving advice, majority of them are single, telling you how to be in a relationship. And it's like, all right, so whatever works for you might not work for the next person. True, true. So you can't give advice on something that you're not a part of. And even on that, even if you're a part of the I'm with somebody crew, you can't give advice to someone who's not living your life or has your preferences. Absolutely. Because, I mean, how are you going to tell me about something that you're like literally not currently going through? That doesn't even make sense yeah, to me. Exactly. It doesn't make sense to me at all because, I mean, I have a woman. I have children and all that stuff. But you're going to try to tell me about something that you think looks good because you saw it somewhere? <laughs> Come on now. How does that make sense? Why don't y'all go out on a date and buy her flowers and open her door and lay down a carpet for her to walk in water? Nigga, do you do that for your woman? Well, I ain't got no woman. Then shut the fuck up. Why are you telling me to do that right. shit? Right. And I think a lot of people are so caught up on the whole what the the media or what social media or anything like that says, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. This is how you keep your woman. This is how you have that that yeah. that emotion as far as between y'all two, that's not the way it works. No, it works if your woman, if you do a certain thing for your woman, your woman does a certain thing for you, it works for her. She smiles. She likes that's that. That's just or the other way around. Though. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. how is it? But see, okay, so according to online, I'm a simp. Do you know what that is? I just looked that up like a couple of days ago, and apparently you're um, – bowing down or something like that to a woman because you want her really bad and i thought that was literally just the way that you got a woman like can i just have the woman i'm, <laughs> I'm just trying to to show her that i really like her a lot but now i'm a simp. so how I, do you I, get women if you try to tell them you don't like them <laughs> right. i hate you bitch you like me <laughs> right because i mean what's what's the dude name was it pepe Le Pew, the skunk I mean that dude. Oh was yeah, the, that nigga was a rapist. So. Yeah, he kind of. He, <laughs> I think that was a bad. I mean, example. now that you look back at it, yeah. <laughs> I, he kind of. He was kind of a bad example, yeah. but he showed that he really wanted what he wanted, and he tried everything to get what he wanted. Aside yeah, from the fact that he breaking was breaking the law, Shit. He, was a, he was a skunk yeah. and she was a cat, or the other way around. I forgot which one was what, but I mean, well, damn, you know, you people out here fucking goats and shit. That's all. They they. That people do fuck goats, and I still don't understand that. I mean, there are so many women out I, here. <laughs> hey, nigga, to some people, pussy is pussy. <laughs> uh, it don't even have to be people pussy. <laughs> <laughs> people pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but man, like, man. I don't understand how a person can can you you have the woman or you want the woman. Go for the woman. I mean, that's okay. Like, you can really just want that person, do what you have to do to get that person, and then you can sustain that. I mean, obviously, we know that in a dating phase that you can you can be with you can be trying to get that person. I, I want that person. I'm I'm over here going over and above to try to get that person. Got it. And then yes, yeah. y'all settle into your relationship. But if that's still your woman, that's still your man, I mean, yes, do whatever it is. To try to keep that person, the I'm sorry's, the 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 things that you have to do as far as trying to be romantic. Yes, Valentine's Day. We have the jokes on Valentine's Day where people be like, oh, oh, you still give me that same old pussy that you gave me last year. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me that shit yesterday. And hey, that same old pussy is good for every other day. Right. Why wouldn't it be good for that day? <laughs> But it's the it's the whole point of it though. I'm they're trying. Yeah, to but see, so when people give you something when people try to tell me when people try to tell me shit like that, uh, you're simping for your girl. Okay, I open the door for my girl. She never walks through a door in front of me without me opening it, unless you know I have something in my hands like two babies. Real quick, real so, quick, real quick, real quick. I do have this thing though. I walk into the house before my old lady though. I walk right. in, in case there's an intruder. Absolutely. That's that's the only thing. 
I'm walking to the door before her. But at, outside of that, yes, I open the door for her other places. And apparently, <laughs> there could be. Hey, when we go up into JC Penney's, if there's a nigga in there with a gun, you get shot first. But when we get we, to the house, I got you. Well, we do know that, that, <laughs> that people will be, apparently, I, I just thought about that. Apparently, what we do know people will be, I do let her go in first. But if I'm walking to the house, I'm going to. Uh, Why don't you just open the door? Is anybody in here? And then close the door. And then they and say, then open it again. And you don't they, see nobody running. They but then they go in before. They say, "Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to take all your stuff, though, bro. Can't give me a second. <laughs> hey, baby, don't go inside. <laughs> Somebody in here. I uh, mean, hey, can you get well, my gun? Don't you got a dog? Come on, man. A dog ain't your doing dog ain't worth shit. My dog is an alarm system. Man, yeah, pretty much. My dog would be in there on his back trying to get pet. <laughs> <laughs> if you pet me, I'll let you take the TV. Right. Trifling ass. Yeah, so, nah, but what I'm saying, though, all right, the simple thing, I open the door for her. I tell her she's beautiful almost every day. I try to remember to do that because she did gain weight after she had kids, obviously, but she's never lost her beauty. She's beautiful as fuck. Now, even if she got obese, remember the obese bitch when I was 16? Even if she got that size, which I wouldn't let happen, but if she did, she'd still be beautiful. Not just outside, but internally, because I actually know her, right? Right. Had I have met her in the 300 plus pound phase, I would have never even attempted to talk to her. Hey, side, but, side note, she's not 300 pounds <laughs> because you just said that. No, but no, no she's not 300. <laughs> no, 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 she's not 300. So if, uh, what was I going? Oh, yeah. If I'm telling her every day that she's beautiful, if I'm telling her or holding open doors and shit for her uh if i'm buying her flowers just because it's tuesday if i pay all the bills then i'm a simp and people are saying that that's a bad thing like no that's a way to keep the person that you're with happy because all the things that she does for me is to keep me happy not because i want her to do them it's because she wants to do them for me you understand what i'm saying like everybody's competing when it comes to relationships and it bothers me well, I'm going to do A, so why don't you do B? And then when I do C, you do D. Why don't you just do A, B, C, and D? And they do it also. It doesn't make any sense to me. The whole 50-50 relationship thing doesn't make sense. It should be 100-100. I'm going to put my all in. You put your all in. Now, you're going to have days You're going to have days where you fall off a little bit or days where she fall off a little bit, but that's when you're there to pick each other up from that. Not, you know what I mean? Everybody ain't perfect. So you're going to argue every once in a while. It's just that happens. People that be around each or people that are around each other often will eventually argue over something, over the littlest shit. But once you have that bond with that person, hopefully you guys can push past that. That's that's just on the on the basis of, you know, simple shit, not the extremes like holding a knife to your neck type of shit. I don't, I don't do that shit. <laughs> I just want this part of the conversation just so uh, his old lady can hear it, because he probably don't be telling he probably don't be telling her that stuff at all. I do, man. Man, I'm nice to my woman, yo. He, he be saying that, but hey, I it's... am nice to her, but I don't treat. All right, so because we had this conversation, right. <laughs> I don't treat my woman like she's my woman. I treat my woman like she's my friend that I love that I'm in love with, that I have sex with, that I have a family with. But ultimately, Ooh, be if I'm going to be me, be doing it. nigga, oh yeah, at least twice. So if I'm going <laughs> to do, <laughs> if I'm going to treat you exactly like I treat everyone else when it comes to speaking, you're just going to have to take that because there's no on and off switch with me. The only time where I can dumb it down just a little bit is when I'm around my mother, grandmother, or my kids. And even at that time, it's hard. My old lady... She definitely does the things for me that I, I didn't even know needed to be done a lot of times. Like, I mean, I can't cook for shit. We know that you have your whole page and everything. Cooking channel, nigga. I'm a, I'm a chef. A chef. I can't do yeah, none of that. Chef. I mean, I'm not going to die if I didn't have <laughs> a woman. I can, I can definitely make some food work, but... She can make food. Like a microwave with the best of them. Micro, <laughs> right. Microwave is what we was looking at the thing where it was showing. <laughs> I, could, I, could, I could do that. But she does have a love for me that 
I never knew that I can have from another person. I mean, outside of my mother and my children, and then even you being my friend, you my homie. But that's a whole different love that that's like it's in itself. Yeah. That's that's what it is. Like your woman loves you the way that your woman loves you. Not like your mama, like not like your daddy, not like your kids, not like even me. That's a whole different love. That's a person. If you think about it in a family construct, let's say, okay, we go down and then there's 45 people. You have Jerry and then you have Jerry's woman. It's so hard not to say her name. I'm I'm trying. I'm I'm being good at that. <laughs> but you have those two people, and then you have all these people that have spread out outside of that. The two people that aren't related are who? It's the 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 mother and father. It's the matriarch and the patriarch. Yeah. And that's the people that aren't related. So they have to have a thing. Everybody else. Oh, you my cousin, you my brother, you my sister, you my uncle, you my aunt. But the two people who don't have to have a relationship because they can literally just end it at any point in time are those See, two so people. See, so I think that's what makes it makes it so strong is the fact that you guys can just split up at any given moment and and potentially never see each other again. Absolutely. Because if I if I say, fuck you, dad, I don't ever want to see you again, which I wouldn't. Sorry if you're listening, Pops. If I, if I was to say that, I'm going to see him again because he has other kids that are my brother and sister that I like, or, you know, my mother that I want to hang out with or my grandmother, something like that. I'm going to see him again. Right. But when it comes to my old lady outside of the kids, I don't have to see her. So once the kids are 18, they can come to me. Right. I don't have right. to go to her or them. You know what I'm saying? So that, I think that's why that's a, that's another level of the love that a couple shares is because the element of loss not not a tragedy, loss, but like the element of loss in where that person could just walk out of your life. I like that. They don't want you. To I like that. I you like that. Saying? I like that. I definitely do like that. You do have that 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 reason or that that feeling that hey, this right now that we have right now could just not be anymore. Yeah, which are, that's hard for anybody, yo. That's like that. just losing a a friend. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that you hang out with all the time, and then all of a sudden you're not friends no more. You might not notice it at the beginning, but you're going to start reminiscing like, man, I remember when I did this right. with my boy Antoine, and now we ain't friends no more or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I miss doing that shit, even though that sounds a little, you know, on the feminine side. Pause. You my boy. I love you. I can say that. <laughs> I don't care. I am in love with this man. No, just oh, no. <laughs> don't tell your girl. <clears throat> so, yeah, but just, I mean. There's nobody that I'd rather be with now that I have her. However, on the other hand, however, if I comma, was to however, lose her. However, comma, everybody. However, <laughs> yeah, comma. That's a fancy but I could potentially find someone similar to her and also be happy. Don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't want to. Absolutely. There's no. I'm too old, man. This is. I mean, I'm not old, but I'm too old to be trying to find a new person in my life to be with. If this one don't work out, that's that's it. I'm a city boy. I'm from the streets. He he from the streets and he needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> and I do yeah, I definitely man. I definitely understand what you're saying because man, I can, like my woman, I've been in relationships hell. And I could get very personal. I've been married twice. So that's a lot. That I didn't need you to say all that. You're like Ross. I didn't, you I didn't know who Ross is. Rick Ross. No, Ross, the white guy on Friends, my favorite <laughs> show ever. He's been uh, married and divorced every, three times. Everybody, I hate the fact that he loves that. <laughs> yeah, that's my show, yo. I love that shit. Hey, let me tell y'all how much my best friend this dude is. We share an account. We share an account. And huh? yes, we share an account. Oh, you talking about the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. I see friends on there all the time. Like, I, I, I don't watch that. Like, continue watching? No, I do not want yeah, to continue yeah. watching. You need to hit yes. Just brighten up your life, man. But man, I it's just hilarious. Let me tell you something about you. He's like literally like 12 minutes older than me. Yes, it's a couple months, but you're welcome. The thing about it is he loves his woman in a way that it's it it makes me kind of jealous sometimes. And not in a bad way. <laughs> like 
his woman, and I almost said her name again. <laughs> just, it's so hard not to, but his woman, <laughs> she knows where she stands in his life. She knows that. And I've always, and I want to tell you this right now because I'm talking to you, my boy, you are a great man, a great father. You're all that appreciate because that. appreciate that. They know exactly where they stand in your life. Your children, they know where they are. They know that they have a dad who definitely is going to do all the things that he needs to do to take care of yeah. them and, and protect them. His woman knows yeah. that also. Yeah. And that's what it's going to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what my dad did for us. So I got, I had a, I had a good role model. I ain't gonna lie. Now, my father wasn't always there. Not because he left, but because he was working <laughs> to provide. <laughs> oh, absent, yeah, he, absent. He, he got cigarettes he was, and he came right back. Like, oh, he, he absent, come back, <laughs> take care of your father yeah, type yeah. ass nigga. There it is. Yeah, yeah. He just went to work. He just went to work. That's all. But, I mean, just having that and then the way that he treated my mother growing up, I saw how to treat a woman. Even though I made mistakes when I was younger, like younger, younger, like teenage younger. Once I got into my 20s, 21 and up to now, I've, I've always tried to treat my woman as, as a queen, as, as, as she treated me, or so I thought. That was always my intention, was to make the best of any situation, especially when it came to relationship. So if I'm with a woman and she's treating me right, of course I'm going to treat her right. Absolutely. Now, if she's treating me like a dog, then I'm going to do what dogs do. So- Bart. Rowan has never, right. has never, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rowan has never done that to me. She, she knows her place with me as far as where she stands in my life. And she acts accordingly. So I, in turn, act accordingly with her. There's nothing that I would ever do to harm this girl. That, that includes physical, mental, emotional, whatever. There's nothing I would do because she doesn't deserve that at all. Except for, Even all if her and except I was for to, hey, except for the other thing that we talked about. But that's just our thing. You know, I'll be. That's my dog. That's Don't cool. Shut up. We good on the dog. <laughs> we want the dog to be part of the podcast too. Uh huh. I love you too, Shallow. So basically, with your preferences, we're trying to don't look at these people and everybody else that you're trying to be with as what you want right then. It, it needs to be what you want forever. You might need something right then, but it's, it's not necessarily what you're going to have for the whole time being. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know what? You can't you can't focus on what you want forever because your preferences will change. Focus on True. the three, I mean, just a small two or three things that you would want forever. Find that in your partner because everything else is gonna weight is gonna go up and down, arguments are gonna go left and right, like shit's gonna happen. You know what I mean? What if <clears throat> what if one day you you wake up and now your girl likes dudes? You can't control that, or your girl likes girls. You can't control that. You I would hope they up, like. Right? I would. I would hope they like dudes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what I mean. Like something could happen to where you have to split. You have to end it. But if you have these, I, I'd say three core values. So mine's with her is just uh, her beauty inside and out. Absolutely. That's that. That doesn't mean skinny. That doesn't mean, uh, what are them fucking shells that people put on their eyelashes? I hate them shits. <laughs> uh, the fake, you know what I'm saying? The, I, the I know makeup exactly and what all that crap. Anyway, so beauty inside and out, and then I want her to be as kind as the day I met her. I want her to remain that kind, if not close. I'm sure she'll get angry the older she gets, but you know it happens with everybody. And I want her to just remain a loyal person to me. That's all I ask of her. So those main three things, she can keep those three things up. I mean, everything else is just whatever. It falls I'll in, deal right? With it. If I can't, de if I can't deal with it, then we will find a solution. It falls in. I got you, man. Yeah. What about you? What are your threes? I don't have a three. I just... Want a person who loves no, me. If you had, I'm saying, if you had to name three things that she could never change, and if she didn't, then you would stay with her forever. Well, be. see, this is the thing about it. It always change. It changes with the woman. So, like, my woman, who I feel like I'll be with for the rest of my life, 
I just want her to remain her. That's the person that I met. I met that person. So she is very, like you said, kind. She's very kind. She, the way that she treats me and her child and then my children, I'm, I love that. Like she treats them like if you saw her out in public and then watched them for a whole day, you would definitely not know which one was actually her actual child. You wouldn't yeah, know that. That's good. Yeah, that's a good trick. But she treats me in a way that I know that I I I mean something to her, just like how your woman does, and the way that you treat mm-hmm. her. And I have to actually get better about that. My woman is the S H I T. She's the shit. She means a lot <laughs> to me. You spell, why did you spell it if you're just gonna say it? <laughs> I, want I don't to, get a F U C K. Fuck. <laughs> because some some people some people want want to spell, you know. But she she yeah. means that to me, and that's the only way that I can treat her is from that standpoint. I and I don't give her the same the same stuff back. I don't. I can never give her that back. I can only try my best to actually match it, but I definitely will never match that. I remember us. What do you mean you, the love that she has for you? Absolutely. You remember you remember us having our text message conversation. And you remember how that ended? What was that text message conversation? How did it end? Marry her. You remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just the way you were just you were just texting normally, hey, how you doing? She didn't respond with fine, how are you? She's like, I'm doing amazing because I'm with you and you're the greatest man ever. It's like, what the fuck kind of pandering? <laughs> She's a simp. She is simping for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my girl is definitely simping. She's simping. She's simping. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, that's that's beautiful though. Especially when you can get two people together. You, I know her, I got to know, or I'm still getting to know. So to to be involved in something like that is awesome too. You know me and my girl since me and my girl was separated. She was doing her thing, I was doing mine. And you've known us as a couple. You grew with us in our relationship. You've been our friend the entire time during our relationship, our kids, and everything. So the way that we act towards each other her being towards me and me being towards her she's way nicer obviously absolutely but she also she, she also brings a better person out of me or has brought a better person out of me she was the one that made me quit drinking she never once asked me to quit but she brought it out of you though right she was like baby this is this is hurting me to see you like this and i'm just like what what are you talking about i feel great and then when i got a little sober down I'm like man maybe i am hurting her in a way that i don't even see because I wasn't physical, I wasn't uh, yelling at her, I wasn't doing none of that when I was drinking. But just to see her, it was almost like a disappointment in her that I was doing that. It hurt her to her core. It was a completely different kind of hurt. But I saw that it did that, so it made me want to quit, and I did. I haven't touched it in four years. Sober. Bam! Right. I, I, I'll probably get there at one point in time. I will. <laughs> I will. But everybody... Yeah. Hey, man, I appreciate you doing this with me, man. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, man. Thanks for having me on. Hey, everybody, thanks for listening to A1 Talk. And make sure... A1 TZ. And make sure you uh, follow... What's your thing again? Jerry with a G. Jerry with a G. Cooks. That are all... That's uh, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. That's the only three shits that I have. But remember, it's with a W-I-T-T-A. With a, Keep it gangster. Keep it gangster. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Peace, peace.